It is what it is. Cloudy day, maybe, but a beautiful one. I'm looking up for my Henry. All right, but look at this. Look at those colors. And this one is next to the Silver Creek Cliff, and so I think of it as a Silver Creek Cliff scenic viewpoint. Let's get going. completely unnecessary experience but also kind of fun do i recommend it yes but it's not necessary it's definitely not necessary i still feel slightly out of breath i will do that again not today Whew. Laundry and hot tea just go together. Barely eight, made a little mess. Goodness. So there's the laundromat. And there's my view. Forgot to put this in the wash. It was a lovely chat, a lady named Lana who lives here. Egget, I've been calling it Agate. Egget is how she pronounces the rocks that people are constantly collecting down here. It was nice meeting Lana and chatting with her about this region. She said they get Amazon deliveries twice a week. So there is no overnight here unless it happens to be on one of those two nights. So that is the part of the world I'm currently at and it's fun and beautiful like I love this not for everyone she showed me pictures of this place in the fall and it's gorgeous probably won't be able to come up here at that time but the part I hate the most about laundry day is there's inevitably things I forget to wash not only did I not wash my bathing suit I meant to wash the jeans I'm currently wearing but I didn't I have a couple of washcloths like four that I meant to wash but I didn't. So I hate that on laundry day, after laundry day, I already have dirty clothes. But we have mostly all clean stuff right now. So, you know, it is what it is. Henry needed a walk. Lovely breeze. There she is. Or does he just not want to smell like the shampoo? That is still very much part of his scent right now. What's the sitch? Hi, you feel better? You feel better? Okay. It's like one o'clock and I'm starving. You wanna come in? What am I in the mood to cook? Henry. Okay, you're still there. Hey. You want to come in? I 
think I might be in a soup mood. Oh, Lana at the laundromat told me that the flies here bite. They look like regular house flies to me, so maybe maybe I'm not just seeing the flies she's talking about, but they're black flies, which aren't all flies black, and they bite. Hope to not get bitten by a fly. There's definitely flies here, but I haven't gotten bitten by any of them, because that would suck. We have carrots already boiling. It's supposed to be simmer, simmer, simmer. And because I keep dropping the pan, I no longer have like a perfect seal. But that's okay too. Let's read a book. No, I didn't record myself actually sleeping, but that is what I've been doing for the last like two hours. And also watching like a billion YouTube shorts. So it is now six o'clock and I consumed all the soup. It was so yummy, satisfying, loved it. This, especially if it's empty, this goes on the floor until I'm able to clean it. And I'm not gonna clean it right now, but I can't drive with this anywhere except on the floor. <laughs> You can't see it, but there's so much oil and such that gets on this anytime I cook. Okay, and so for the sink, it's like a game of where can I put things to where they won't fly out, but they're dirty, so they need to be in here. I only have a few dirty dishes. There's also some utensils down there. And so I put my bottles of water to kind of keep it in place. And this is a cup I've had forever. Because what if I need it for something? I don't know. I just keep it. It also helps, again, with the buffering. So dish soap. My sponge is somewhere inside there. This is how I drive. I really only like to do dishes once a day. When I figure out where I'm going to park, as soon as I get there, after I, like, close up, one of my favorite things to do is to do my dishes right before bed. And then while I'm sleeping, all the dishes will hopefully dry so that in the morning I can easily put it away. And so... Hard to do with one hand. Let me see there, don't fall. Now we have lucked out because often there will be like a fly between the screen and the glass. So when I close it, a fly will often get stuck inside here. But uh, no, the flies seem to be inside, so we should be good. Henry's like, hurry it up, we got places to go. All right, so closed. And then if I, go with, if I cook, I just gotta double check. And make sure those are closed, cause yeah, okay. So now on the floor and yep. All right, let's take, take a couple minutes and kill some of these flies. I did not get it. All right, anyway, let's go. Plugging everything in, including you. This one. So when I'm driving, I always have both of my phones charging, and this guy is also charging every time I'm driving. And then I sometimes have my fan on. I've got another fan. So this fan, I often like to have on. I'm currently in an area with no Starbucks. There are restaurants, but they're more expensive restaurants. I haven't noticed any cafes. I'm sure there is a cafe. Probably Two Harbors has a cafe, but mostly I just see restaurants and I, I'm eating at home. I don't really wanna to go to a restaurant to charge. I can do a coffee shop, but I haven't really seen many coffee shops. So like this is what we got right now. I'll probably walk the dog again. He's been very patient next to me, chillaxing. We got people carrying their stuff to their campsite. The water fountain water, not my favorite. So yeah, I forgot that the visitor center closes at four. 
Monday through Thursday, and then I think six o'clock on the weekends. Now is also a good time to message Alex. He says he's doing good. He's so talkative, teenage boys. Oh my gosh, I have to like pry, pry how he's doing and like if he's done anything interesting or seen something or... <sighs> yeah. My very literal and articulate child is not a highly articulate teenager. <laughs> It is what it is. So I didn't mention that today, as I was coming over here, I got some bird poop on my windshield because that's what driving is like. And my switch doesn't work anymore. This switch, no longer. And so I can't. So that means my windshield wiper, windshield wiper fluid, my turn signals, they don't work. This is, I think the third time, so once during my original RV life, when I first got the RV, I had to get it fixed, no big deal. When I first came back from Mexico, I got it fixed. And that was like a month or so ago, and now it's broken again. I can't stand when the, th the same thing breaks again. Okay, so anyway, my headlights still work. Like, it's really the turn signals. Especially because the other day, I was looking for mechanics to see about replacing my tire maybe, and I did not get any good vibes from the mechanics of this area. So I don't know. I don't know when we're gonna fix that or what. Oh my gosh. He just needs attention. We're gonna go where we wanna sleep. I don't like plug everything back up. Literally the same things that I was charging earlier. We're gonna charge again. Always be charging. Forget what YouTuber said that. So my AC in the car does work, but the fan of the AC works better on the passenger than the driver's side. And so this is why I have the extra fan up here. And I'm pretty sure my older phone is losing battery. The battery life is just all these cables. Let's go. We are at the Split Rock I forget what TV stands for. Rest stop. We can only stay here for 10 hours. It is eight o'clock, which means around six o'clock tomorrow we need to be gone. But I think that will work out. Walking the dog and then uh, buttoning up for the night. I get to see the lake before going to bed. My current book, audiobook, is I'm glad my mom died. Unexpected love. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Hysterical. I'm yelling that my stuffed animals are gonna kill me. I know they're gonna kill me. I'm rolling around on the floor, bruising my sides as I crash around, bumping into couch legs and empty trust me. 